way to Alaska. Oh, no. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate you asking, sir. <laughs> Approaching Juneau, Alaska. Beautiful sights. It's about 40 degrees out here now, 40, 45 degrees. And I am taking a walk alongside the trail outside. God's beautiful creation. Amen. We are approaching Juneau, Alaska. <clears throat> Pardon me, where you will see some fabulous sights to come. It's about, it's Tuesday morning, and it's about 9.45 a.m. I've never seen so much beauty. God's creation, the Womack journey, living the blessed life. about you but when I look at all of this I know personally that there is a God to create such, such beauty oh my god when you see it I had the opportunity to show you all the ship basketball court here my kids love that because you know they're basketball players so they enjoy being able to be out there playing that that's the rock climbing right there. I think I might go try to do that. Even though I'm afraid of heights. This is deck 13. And as you can see, so much beauty surrounding this place. This is our second cruise of 2018. And I highly, highly recommend if you've never cruised before, first and foremost, make sure you cruise at least once. And I can't swim, so I know people tell me all the time, well, I'm afraid to take a cruise because I can't swim. Hey, I can't either, but I tell you what, when you get up here, you kind of almost forget you can't swim, but I know what I can and cannot do, so like a little island over there. Wow. We came prepared with winter clothes because where I'm from is absolutely hot right now. But in Alaska, it's cold. So beautiful. And we decided to do the Norwegian Pearl. The ship that's taking us on our journey. Pardon me. It's a pretty big ship. This is our third day. No, second day, excuse me, second day at sea. But stay tuned because I'm going to be sharing a lot of our trip and travel with you. There's an iceberg. In the middle of the Alaska cruise.
That means it's cold out here. <laughs> yes, Lord, it's cold. But we're still having a great time aboard the Alaska Cruise 2018. to see all that this wonderful city has to offer. Yes. Which if you want to get up now, I need you to go to Denver. Oh, we're being hard-headed. Okay. Come to Juno, Alaska. Did you see that up there? That drop. No way. No way. We just departed from the ship on our way to our excursions. Now we're getting ready to travel. Well, here we go. Uh, How many feet are we going to go up? It is traveling on a cable 3,100 feet long, and we are going up to 1,800 feet. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard the Mile Roberts Tramway. We are owned and operated by Gold Mountain Corporate and Alaska Native Run Company. We've been operating for 22 years now. We opened August 10, 1996, and we are sending 1,800 feet up to for Mountain House. Or the only aerial tramway in southeast Alaska. <coughs> that we do only operate May through September. We're going to be passing over Alaskan rainforest that reduce 90 inches of rain and 100 inches of snow per year. Some of the trees you can look at in the spot are the Sitka spruce. It is the Alaska state tree. It looks a lot like your average Christmas tree. The straight and pointy tops. Uh, it has an inner bark that is soft and edible. Then we also have the western hemlock with the crooked tops, drooping branches. Their wood uh, was excellent for carving, very frequently make bowls and utensils and then finally we have the red alder with the bright green leaves those leaves are good for smoking fish and as we're going up if you look out and spot some mossy looking stuff hanging up the tree that's actually an algae fungi called lichen that only grows in areas with no pollution so i hope you all enjoy the fresh clean air up on the sky bridge your farms just a couple quick reminders for while we're up top please keep in mind that all yellow ropes and lines are there for your safety so please no leaning over them crossing them anything like that we also ask that you please be careful with your devices because if they drop, they do become part of the mountain. There is no retrieval. It's a 300 foot drop to the mountain and also into a heavily forested area that most people don't hike. It's, it's pretty god You said 300 feet drop? Yep. Well, at its highest. Uh, it depends on which end of the sky bridge you're at. At its lowest, it's about 150 feet. At the other end, it's about 300 feet. Yeah. So folks, up top, we do have plenty for you to do. Uh, if you're looking to go on a hike on a lovely day like that, this, it is perfectly fine. We have trails going up, down, and around the mountain. If you do decide to do that, stop by the Nature Center. They can provide you with a map and tell you everything you need to know about the local flora and fauna. And if you're hoping to see a live bald eagle up close, stop by the Raptor Center and it's home to Lady Baltimore. She is a live bald eagle who was injured in the wild and unfortunately could not be returned. If you do go visit her, please keep in mind she is a wild animal, so no flash photography. Please keep all noise to aim. Now, if you're looking for a bite to eat up top, we have the Timberland Bar and Grill. They have everything from their specialty crab nachos to locally caught fish, locally brewed beer, vegetarian and kids menu, and award winning blueberry pie. And if you need a souvenir before you go, stop by the Raven Eagle Gifts and Gallery. They, of course, have your typical t 
t-shirts, snow gloves, and the like, but they also have Alaska Native made items, which is artwork and totem poles, so those are definitely worth seeing. Now, if you're hoping to learn more about the Native Clinket people, stop by the Chill Cat Theater. They play a complimentary documentary called Seeing Daylight, runs every half hour to the top and bottom of the hour, and is 20 minutes long. Finally, folks, the tram does run every three to five minutes, so if you miss one, don't worry too much. Last tram up is at nine o'clock, last tram down is at 9.30, last thing at the restaurant is at eight. However, if you have a cruise ship to catch tonight, we have a board up top here showing what time you have to catch each tram car down by. So make sure you catch your cruise ship all the time. So please keep that in mind. If you're not with you. Okay. Thank you so and much. And we're going to be exiting through these two doors. So, ladies and gentlemen. Seven. 
Seven, open up briefcase number seven, please, back here. So far, you're at left three, two.